What's up guys, welcome back and in this video I'd like to explore the menu builder and how we can use that menu builder in our application. Now in the last video we've already explored the menu builder for the admin side but we can actually use that menu builder and use it for our menus in our application. For example this one up here and also this one down here. Now this is defined in our code and what what the menu builder does is it pushes it to the database so anyone can modify this anyone with admin access can modify this so let's go ahead and do that so if we go into voyager let's add a new one let's call it main that's the main menu we're going to be replacing this one And let's go ahead and start adding ones. So new menu item. Let's just uh, replicate this one. So let's do shop, about, blog, and cart. So it's going to be shop. You can specify a static URL or a dynamic route, which is if, if you're using named routes like we're doing, you can actually use that. So let's go ahead and do that one for this one. So the route for the menu is, if you look at our code, so for shop, it's shop.index, and for cart, it'll be cart.index. So shop.index, and this is if you have any route parameters, and we don't for that one. And you can also specify if you want to open it in a new tab. So let's just do that. Let's add all of them here. So what was it again? shop about blog and cart let's quickly add the other ones about this one will just be blank for now and blog blank and in our cart, we have something extra here, uh, but I'll show you how to do that in a second. So cart, uh, it's going to be a route, and it was cart, not index. And that's good. So we have our menu here, and as you can see here, all you have to do is put this in your code, and it will spit out some HTML that shows this menu. So let's go into our code here and let's just go into our landing page and so this can show you what it's spitting out. So where am I going to put this? Let's just put it right here underneath that text. So stripe integration right here. Let's just paste that code in. Actually we have to wrap it like this. And if that worked, you'll see the menu here. There you go. Uh, if you inspect that, as you expect, it just spits out, where is it? Just the ULs and the LI and the A. So you can style that accordingly. You can wrap it like in a div class or something and just target the CSS elements underneath that parent div. But if you want more control, I'll show you what you can do as well. We definitely want to go this route because we have this little cart indicator that we can't do if we're doing it this way. So if you look at the documentation, you'll see that you can do it like this. So let me just go back to our code and let's make a new folder within our partials. Let's call it menu, menus, and let's make a new one for our main menu. So main.blade.php. And let's just grab the menu here. Where is it? This stuff. So this UL here. Let's just grab this because we're going to be replacing this in a second. Let's remove this for now. We don't need this. 
So let's paste that in here. Let's just reindent it. Okay. So now if we do if we replace this the menu, this whole menu here, if we just replace that with uh, menu main and the second parameter is the location of that so it's partials.menus.main then that should still work let's go back to our app does it still work? okay still works but now it's still hard-coded as you can see here but now if we do something like this go to the documentation and if we just grab it and do it like that let me just comment this out because we're going to need this in a sec but if we just do that and just dynamically iterate over the menu items then that should work let's check it out and there you go you see that we lost the cart badge over there but we'll add that in a sec but as you can see this still works it goes to the shop and as you can see this one goes back to the other one that's because we have two menus we have one for the landing page and we have one for every other page so let's go ahead and fix that um, where is that one so that menu is within this nav partial so let's do the same thing that we just did just grab this so in our nav partial let's just replace this it's the exact same thing okay and now the other pages should be like this and they are and like I said the advantage of this is we can just now the menu is within the admin rather than from within the code so if you want to rearrange it if you want about first no problem about is now first cool if you want to add more another one and let's just make it blank update there you go and our menu is updated dynamically from within the back end uh, our CSS isn't very dynamic as you can see it's more cramped here but you can do a few things it's just more cramped because we're using Flexbox and there's actually a width on this so if you change the CSS when you're adding a new menu item that can fix that problem or the better way to do it is to fix your CSS such that it doesn't rely on how many menu items there are. We're not going to do that, but that's probably the best solution as to adding more menu items in your menu. So let's go back. Let's just remove that one because we don't need it. And now let's work on putting that cart back in there, the cart badge with the number of items in the cart. Let's also fix this. Uh, so it should be shop. Okay. So how are we going to do that? So we want to add that badge if if it's on the cart menu item. So let's go ahead and do something like this. So let's just reformat this. Um, and let's just do it like this. Now we want to add that badge if the menu item title is equal to cart. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do conditional. If menu item title equals cart. then we can go ahead and just do this logic in here which just shows the number of items in the cart so that should do it Let's see if that worked 
uh, what happened to the CSS? Did I miss something here? All right, all we have to do is add this piece of code right here, and that should fix the CSS. There you go. And that should work on the landing page as well. Cool. Now let's do the same thing for our footer menu down here. If we inspect that. This one is a bit tricky for a few reasons. One, um, I added the sort of the title within the allies. And this should be outside of it, but we'll, uh, we'll find a way to fix that. Also, there's no text here, it's just icons, and we're using Font Awesome here. But again, we'll just trick it into working. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we go into our code, where is the footer? It's right here. So it's just this over here. So let's grab that. Let's do the same thing we did here. So from within menu, let's add a new one called footer.blade.php. Let's paste that in. Let's reindent. Reindent, okay, and let's just call it from within here. So it is menu, we'll make it in a sec, and it's within partials.menus.footer. Okay, let's go ahead and go into Voyager um, menus. Let's make a new one. Let's call it footer. Okay. And so for this one, since there's no text, it's just icons, let's just make the name of it the icon. So let me show you what I mean. So Let's just name it, for this it'll be FA Globe, for this one it'll be FA YouTube, I believe. Yeah, so let's just name it the icon name. So back into Voyager, new menu items, so it'll be FA Globe. And it'll just go to my website, right there, update. And let's do the same for the other ones. Uh, what was next? YouTube, GitHub, Twitter. So FA YouTube. Uh, YouTube, that where it is. Okay. So I don't forget GitHub. FA GitHub. HTTP, github.com. Okay, and let's add one for Twitter, FA Twitter. Uh, Twitter, there we go, update that. And we can do the same thing we did here, except with a few differences. Let's comment this out. And obviously that's not going to work. Let's see what we get. Okay. Did we do that right? What happened there? Oh, sorry. That's the wrong one. Let's put that back. This was the one we're supposed to replace. Paste that in, see what we get. Okay, so we get the names, but we can fix it. So since we're not spitting out the name of the icon, because we don't have one, we can just do something like this. So I, okay, and we can just paste in the name there. And that should do it. 
see if that works and there we go so this should link accordingly and it does cool but we had that follow me as a part of this section within the list items which again is not ideal it should be outside of the list items but let's just do a little hack here so similar to what we did before so if menu item title equals if we name something called follow me then we're just going to spit it out how come Emmet doesn't work? Damn you, VS Code. Okay. So we'll just do menu item title. Yeah, that should work. Now all we have to do is add this into our menu from within Voyager. Okay, it's new menu item. Follow me, make sure it's that name. And this doesn't even matter, let's update that. Make sure it's first in our list, and that should be back to what it was before. Cool. The link works. Yep, it works, cool. So there you have it guys, we managed to change our menus such that they no longer live in our code but live within our backend system such that an admin can change and rearrange it however they like. I think I'm going to end it there. We'll continue to work on more admin features in future videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Okay, thanks, bye. Thank you.